How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We have just gotten some really good inflation news. Not the CPI yesterday, but the PPI today, which is a leading indicator. And it came in much lower than expected. I want to go through that. Also talk about who's buying Bitcoin because they just announced that they're going to buy half a billion dollars. Also want to go over some price predictions. Some price predictions for Solana, Ethereum, and Bitcoin from a head of a very important firm. So we're going to go through all that. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video. You're going to want to watch videos because there's only so long until we break out of this little triangle that we're at. And you're going to want to get the fastest alpha out there, which is something I typically pride myself on. There's also a link down there to Margex. It's been not super volatile over the last three months. As we know, it's just been ranging sideways. But if you want to trade leverage, this is typically a decent time to get your position set up and ready for the next big swing. They also are giving away up to $5,000 in BOEM, as I've been saying for the last week. There are just about uh, three days left where you can get in on this. So if you do want to play some trades, you can get your volume numbers up to get that free airdrop. Now, US, C, uh, US CPI came in yesterday, but US PPI which is a leading indicator for the, uh, the producer price index or what the producers are paying, came in today. So month over month, uh, man, okay, we got negative 0.2% for the month versus 0.1% expected. The prior was 0.2%. Core was 0% versus 0.3% expected. Prior was 0.5%. Okay, so overall headline was 2.2 versus the 2.5 expected. Core was 2.3 versus the 2.5 expected. Pretty good. Pretty good numbers right there. Uh, obviously, the Fed looks at PCE and CPI, I think even more than PPI. But if, if they wanted to change and they wanted a 2% inflation rate, they could, they could get out of you know, bring CPI down all the way to 2% by saying, oh, well, the producer price index is a leading indicator. It's at 2%, so CPI will follow. I don't know. It's something interesting that they could do, but it's interesting how right when we need inflation numbers to come down, they magically start coming down, right? Uh, it seems like there's still a lot, of, a lot of products that are going up in price. Things are still really expensive, obviously, but we are seeing CPI and PPI come down pretty significantly. And the reason I say we need them to come down, we have a lot of debt maturing over the next year. And it's going to be at a very high interest rate. We're going to pay more for debt than we are for the military. And that's a very, that's a very large bill. So good for risk assets here today. You can see Bitcoin moving up on this news up to 68,000. It was just at 68,300, 68,400. And... This is after it was at about 67.5, 67.7 before the news came out. Keep in mind, you do need to invest in risk assets. A lot of people don't realize, I've said this before though, and I've shown this before, you need to invest in risk assets. You can't get 5% over the long term because while CPI, while inflation is at 2 or 3%, they tell you, Really, we're seeing the money supply increase by much more than that. You can see consumer inflation, official versus shadow stats, which I'm guessing is just a way of showing the actual inflation over time uh, without taking different items in and out. They say inflation is really 10%. S&P 500 does 11%. Gold does 8%. Now add 5% monetary debasement. Only Bitcoin can shield you at 30 to 80% gains. It's very true. Yeah, you have to be invested over the long term. Now, you can always hold on to cash for short term opportunities and stuff like that. But eventually, you're going to need to be in the market. Speaking of someone that does not want to hold cash, Michael Saylor announces proposed private offering of $500 million uh, convertible senior notes. So he is going to be going and buying some more Bitcoin. That's what they're doing with this money just like they do every time. Maybe they'll even get like an, an upsized offering or something. But yeah, they continue to add more Bitcoin. There are smaller entities like MetaPlanet, like uh, Semler Scientific, like DeFi Technologies that buy Bitcoin, but no one in the size that Michael Saylor is buying right now, at least as a company. Now, before we go any further, I want to thank today's show sponsor, Bambit. Bambit is a meme coin on Solana. They're doing hand-drawn comics, and they also have some other 
utility as well, like a virtual card, a Bambit merch, NFT merch, and airdrop. So they're not just a meme coin as they say on their website. The ticker is Bambit. They're a zero tax meme coin with LP burned. They have revoked their mint and freeze authorization and have a total supply of 80 million Bambit. They also have the token address on their website, which I'll leave a link to underneath the video along with a link to their Twitter as well. So it is cool to see Michael Saylor continuing that very high conviction. Of course, I don't think anyone uh, thinks he's going to flip on Bitcoin, but it is cool to see him continue to go out and buy some more Bitcoin. Now, Let's go over to Van Eck. Van Eck, portfolio manager and head of digital asset research, makes bold predictions for BTC, Ethereum, and Solana. Let me play this for you. What is your bullish case for Bitcoin, ETH, and Solana right now? Out of the research. Yeah. So out of the research, uh, the official price target on Bitcoin is 325000 uh, which is half the market cap of gold. We're going to have some new research soon that incorporates the layer two opportunity um, and should send the price target higher. For ETH, the new report dropped uh, today, 22000 per coin. We estimate that the network is going to produce $70 billion of free cash flow by 2030. 33 times that. And then Solana, uh, our base case was 300 bucks. Uh, that base case is obsolete now because we used a lower market share number for Solana because of some of the technical debt. Uh, and they've made a lot of progress. So bull case on that 3,000. 365, 22,000 and 3,000. Yeah. Okay, let's break each one of those down. So let me go over to coin market cap real quick. For Bitcoin, he was talking about 325,000. He said that they'll probably raise that here pretty soon, but that gives them a about a 4.8x from here. Okay, so 380% gain. Okay, that would put Again, that would put Bitcoin at half the market cap of gold. I think that might have even been the old market cap of gold. Like gold's moved up throughout the year. So I think they still might be down slightly from where gold's at now. Uh, but Ethereum, they're saying, what, 22,000 divided by just 3,500. That would give them a 6.3x. And they said 3,000 on Solana, which is pretty easy math there. We're looking at about a 20x for Solana. Now, this is coming from Van Eck. You have to take it with a grain of salt because they are highly invested into the cryptocurrency space. They could always be trying to get you to buy their assets as well. Uh, but they're probably quite bullish. They probably actually think these are achievable numbers. And this is most likely by the end of the cycle. You know, Typically with price targets, it's a one-year price target or end-of-year price target. One year from now is generally considered towards the peak of the market, maybe plus or minus five, six months. But those are some lofty numbers, okay? I think I think we'd all be quite happy with that. And imagine the money and imagine the adoption that happens then. Like imagine Bitcoin at 300,000, how many more entities are going to be buying? How many more entities are going to be adding to their balance sheet and are going to be decentralizing the amount of Bitcoin that's owned out there? They're going to be they're going to be buying significant amounts of Bitcoin from someone. So, yeah, I mean, there are going to be people that continue to load up more and more like MicroStrategy, but there are also going to be entities that have a lot of Bitcoin right now that kind of shed some of that while we continue to move up in the market, which is healthy, you know, decentralizes who holds a significant amount of Bitcoin. And yeah, the the amount of money made in this space will be insane if that's the case. Now, speaking about someone that, uh, you know, something that has been going up significantly, making a lot of people money, Crypto Journey, Daddy Coin. I talked about this yesterday. It was at $4. Talked about it the day before, and it was at, what, th 3 two fifty. I think it was at 250 Now it's up another 15% since I talked about it last night. It's up 56% in the last day. If you haven't seen this one, go pay attention to it. Go follow uh, the the Twitter page. I'll leave a link to this underneath the video. It has the contract address right here, but it's a meme coin on base that's trying to act actually educate as well. And it's from one of the bigger YouTubers and one of the bigger Twitter calls in the space, uh, My Crypto Journey. 
So he's trying to educate people that are coming into the crypto space, showing them how to use base, showing them how to you know, properly invest in, properly buy crypto and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, I do hold some tokens if you do want this. Uh, again, there's a link to it underneath the video. Now, FJB, I've been talking about this one as well. You can see right at previous resistance, or yeah, previous resistance, it's coming right down. It looks like it's leveling out here. Kind of interesting, maybe a big move coming up. Of course, these things are volatile. This is down 25% in a day. So you have to be ready for that volatility. You have to be ready for meme coins to go down to zero. But as you can see here, if we just kind of go sideways, we could be seeing another big move up. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Of course, only invest with, um, or only invest in meme coins or buy meme coins with money that you don't need, that you're willing to risk. And make sure that you're doing the same thing with leverage trading. Now, there is that link to Margex underneath the video in case you want to try leverage trading. You can still get in on that airdrop. Thank you so much. To be clear, too, to get in on the airdrop, you actually have to trade. So it's based on your volume. Uh, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. I'll see you in the next.